very reasonable for what this is. Thanks for tuning into this episode of The Bullet Points. Uh, we're here at SHOT Show 2013, here at the Blackhawk booth. We've got Chris here with Blackhawk. He's gonna show us uh, some of their new bailout products. Uh, really, really cool stuff. We've got some reviews coming up on bailout bags, you know, what to grab, um, you know, how to pack, things like that. So we're gonna let Chris uh, kind of go through some of their new product lines and, and show us what you got. Okay. Uh, start off with uh, just the, the overall theme here. This year we're, we're expanding a lot into the, the bug out bags, bug home bags, go bags. And actually what, we're, what we call them is more go boxes. And uh, the reason for that is we intentionally do a lot of very rectangular shapes, box shapes. We find that it's easier to compartmentalize the interiors, uh, easier to store stuff, separate it out so that you can find everything. And then uh, it also stores better on shelves, tucked into a closet, under a car seat, behind a truck seat, things like that. And uh, it, we give them some rigidity so that it doesn't assimilate to the shape of the spot it's in. So right. it's in a trunk with stuff on top of it and it just kind of oozes into the, every corner. And well, then when you go to pull it out, it doesn't want to come out. It right? seems so. like it would also help stacking. Yep, you know, absolutely. If, you've got, if you've got a small rectangular area and it's deep, you know, maybe stack one or two on top of each absolutely. other. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, that stack would, them that up would on the shelf for multiple people in the house or, or uh, multiple people in a vehicle. So, um, and these are, are actually called the go boxes. And the whole thought behind this is, that, you know, the preppers figure out how much stuff can you fit in an ammo can, right? right. 50 cal ammo can, 30 cal ammo can, how many Izzy bandages, how many MREs, how many M4 mags. So these actually mimic the cubic volume of ammo cans. So you have a 150, a 250, and this is actually the 230. So it's got the same interior dimension as 230 cal ammo cans. Then we just rotated it 90 degrees so that it was easier to uh, get to everything. Uh, padded, fully padded loop line so that you can stick hol uh, our Velcro backed holsters, hook back holsters, mag pouches, and then movable dividers so that it, it has that, uh, that same boxy shape. The pals on the outside, obviously, if you want to hang more stuff. and. Uh, going up to a larger size this is called the block go bag so again brick block really yeah. but uh it's again pals on the outside mag pouches things like that you need immediate access to you can do on the outside trauma kit and then on the inside it actually zips all the way flat so you can hang it or lay it out flat on the ground it comes with all these pouches see-through mesh clear yeah. windows I was identify it say, label it really clearly yeah labels yep. you can you can stick whatever and see what's behind there so you're not digging absolutely through to yep. get to the one product you need make it fast and obvious and, and use identifiers that you know you know so you can label it however you looks want. like you guys really thought out the zippers on these too i mean you know a little yep. ring this, loop zipper that's, that's what we call what we call u poles and if you if you don't like them, you're worried about them snagging. They just loop right off, and you can run paracord or whatever you want through it. But we found uh, nine out of ten people want to want to have that immediate access, easy to grab. You can grab it with gloves, cold fingers, bloody, wet hands, things like that. I you can still get say, to it. And open I was just going to say these are big enough to where you can grab them with gloves and the little rubber piece here. Um, really helps you get a grip on there, so you can tear this open, you know, in wet conditions or something. That's that's a really well thought out piece. It's uh, pals all on the inside so if any of these pouches didn't suit your needs you could remove them switch it out with whatever works for you the back of it actually has uh, stowable straps too so these straps you can unhook and run the little parts inside so that's just to make it a little low, lower drag from storage so now if it is under a car seat those shoulder straps are tucked inside so there's nothing for it to hang up on when you yank it out right and then uh let's just show you one more here this is called the brick so this one is made to be a little more discreet, just a, a little more uh, stream, uh, streamlined, slick down on the outside. You still got handles on three sides, so again, for if it's up on a shelf or behind someplace, real easy to grab and yank it out. Uh, more uh, sensible compartments. Now this shows you how many dividers it comes with, probably more than you'll ever use. But well, we wanted to make like sure you, you had a bunch. Looks you like you can modify these and configure them any way Absolutely. you want. Absolutely. Very cool. And then I like the Velcro backing, so you can do a trauma kit in here. Yep. You know, yank that out and yeah, throw and it, it to somebody, and uh, you know, you still got everything else. Funny that you here. say that too, because actually, this is how mine is set up as my my bug home bag, basically. So the one I'd keep in my vehicle or in the office. And uh, the top pouch has got tools. So knife, light, light sticks, survival kit, fire starting, all that's in there. The bottom pouch is actually sized for a Nalgene bottle. And I've got all my water purification, my, my water purification straw that's inside there. And uh, typically I put an extra set of important documents inside that Nalgene too because if I go home, natural disaster, the home's no longer there. I've got some important stuff with me. 
and then inside here, I actually only need two dividers yeah, for what I do, but I separate it out into, uh, I've got one of our tearaway trauma kits. So tearaway med pouch, boo-boo kit, food and hygiene products are in the middle, and then I've actually got uh, my some more survival necessities in the bottom. Some paracord back there, yeah. some... Uh, paracord, zip ties, duct tape, um, fire starting stuff. Uh, that's actually a roll-up shelter. So the basic needs uh, tick wipes, <laughs> you know, just... Yeah. Basic, basic stuff. Dust masks. The only thing I don't see is toilet paper. There is, there, <laughs> there is in, uh, in the hygiene pocket. There so. you go. All right, yep. you're in good shape then. <laughs> uh, this year, the the new diversion line of products. So it's cases, bags, um, backpacks, carry items. So the whole idea is, uh, um, we had a bunch of covert operators that were looking for ways to move their gear around without drawing attention to themselves. And uh, we also found the new gun consumer, uh, there's a lot of them living in urban environments, townhomes, apartments, you know, that places where you want to avoid the bad elements, seeing that you have firearms, to avoid theft, and also uh, you might have neighbors or, uh, uh, you know, people around that, that are less than enthusiastic about uh, shooting sports, gun stuff prepping, things like that, and and uh, just to maintain a respectful relationship with everybody, now you can discreetly move your stuff, still enjoy your, your sport, um, go to the range, practice, just be a responsible gun owner, and uh, and keep it subtle when you're going to and from. So this is the a prime example of the concept. It's actually the first product uh, that, that I did in the line where I, I have an AR pistol and short barrels and wanted to be able to move them around without drawing attention. So perfect thing to do that, tennis racket case. I mean, the diversion concept is you should, your eyes should pass right by the products without wondering what's inside them. So tennis racket bag, people go right past, don't think anything of it. But when you look at it a little closer, it's got lockable sliders. So you can you can lock it shut, prevent people from snooping around it. If you got kids in the house, something you want to avoid them from getting at it. Then we uh, put these U-pulls on it, real, real easy to grab, open up. The inside of this one, we actually got an underfolder AK, but it'll take anything up to 29 inches. SCAR 16S, stock side folded, short barreled M4, uh, AR-15 platform. If you got something bigger uh, in the AR platform, we've got a padded divider. So you can split the upper and lower receivers and put one on each side. And everything is loop lined so that you can do the, the hook back Velcro style mag pouches and holsters and actually outfit this as a grab and go type setup. And then we used all these commercially uh, uh, common colors. We use a 420 velocity material, which was a really good solid material, uh, resists stitches pulling pretty well, um, has a good abrasion resistance, and it's what you'd find in a lot of high-end commercial packs. So a common, common, uh, easy to uh, easy to associate with a commercial pack material and common colors. So red gray, blue, gray, black and gray, uh, any combination of, the, of those. And then also some ranger green and coyote tan and more of the uh, Cordura materials. Uh, just because we actually found that those are pretty common in commercial markets as well, but, uh, but uh, two-toning it, making it a little, less, a little less tactical, no molly, make it look like something commercially available. And uh, this is another example of a long gun style short barrel. You actually have uh, access to a uh, the in entire interior is PALS lined, again a padded divider for upper and lower receiver or if you wanted to run the gun on one side and uh, outfit the other side with mag pouches, med pouches, uh, and or set it up as a go bag. And then to, to even go just as simple as a range bag. So we've got a lot of our uh, customers uh, going to the range for their lunch break now. I mean, it's make it look like you're going to Lifetime Fitness. You can take it to uh, take it to the office and uh, not have anybody think twice about it. But you've got good size range bag, nice and nice big interior with uh, again uh, movable dividers, little empty brass pouch in there. So just uh, plenty of room for ammo, eye and ear pro. The two end pockets are padded gun rugs. And they're also loop lines, so you could put a holster inside if you wanted to put a holster inside there to secure the weapons a little better. And those have lockable sliders. And then the front and back, you've got mag pouches, storage on the back, but the front is really cool in that now you've actually got a cleaning center. So for the guys who only have a couple of guns or they want to keep all their pistol stuff together for range trips, 
neoprene rug and spot to put all your cleaning supplies. And then we've got actual carry options, uh, sling pack. So the ability to, to carry something small, discreet, and still have access to a, a handgun, full-size handgun. And uh, that's um, really great for somebody who just wants something small. It's really great for a, a female who, uh, you know, girls like to dress cute, right? So it's no good place for a holster. Purses are less than ideal because stuff gets lost in it. This is really purpose-built for carrying, but you can still carry uh, some makeup, keys, wallet, things like that. <laughs> In, a, in something small, comfortable, and it's it's very secure on your body. And if you do get in a scenario where you want a little more retention, you can pull it from the back to the front and just keep it handy, ready to go. <laughs> we also go as far as to do a backpack. Same concept here. And this was uh, actually more geared around uh, undercover officers who are like at the March on Wall Street uh, at the RNC when it was in Minneapolis. Officers who want to move amongst a crowd, but uh, get everything off the hip because if you're brushing past people in a crowd, you get spotted real easy. So uh, you can access the, the pistol compartment from the bottom on either side, ambidextrous. We'll lay it all the way open just so you can see the inside of that compartment. Loop lined, uh, pistol stuck in the bottom, universal holster again more security you can take any of our Serpa CQC holsters there's an adapter to stick them to velcro and if you want it if you're in a really thick crowd something like that where you're worried about somebody actually pickpockets things getting into the back you can actually lock these down these tabs lock down but then how do you access the pistol we've got a, a secondary access point through the lumbar support so you can take it to one shoulder take a knee get to your pistol without actually having access to all the other stuff. Keep it really secure against your back the whole time until you need it. That's the carry backpack. So that kind of sums up the line, you get the idea of the concept. It's, it's uh, common, common looks, common colors, things that the eye would pass right by, um, not alarm anybody. Bad guys don't know you got it. Um, uh, people that are just don't want to don't want to know that there's guns around, be real respectful of them and, and keep everything hidden.